Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing an educational commentary, all right? I feel like I've been lacking on the commentary, so we're gonna do another one right here. And uh, I'm gonna try to focus on editing, editing in this commentary, different techniques that you can use to uh, outplay your opponents through editing. Um, I haven't I haven't talked about editing in a while, actually. The last time I made a video about editing was when you could see through your edits, and this, you know, that changes a lot. So editing is still a very important part of the game, and it's, it's a little harder to maneuver through walls and stuff considering you can't see the other side, but it's not gonna stop you from uh, pulling off some crazy edit plays. I'm gonna go ahead and take a gamble on this. This guy... guy's shooting me from across i'm gonna go ahead and uh i will take some shots back actually all right let's hit him twice don't want to waste too much let's go ahead and drop down get this chest before we use the base shield because there might be something better and we're actually just going to use the slurp i'm not even going to bother using the base shield right now i'm going to hold on to the base shield and just uh make my way to this house right here this door is open. That means this guy is probably already on the third floor because he probably landed on the top, on the bottom, I mean, and he's working his way up. So we can beat him to the top. Might be able to steal some of this loot before he gets a chance to get to it. Of course, you want to break these this furniture to try to like get some early materials to give you the jump on your opponents. We have a mini gun. We don't really have a good close range gun. So we got to be extra careful here. I'm going to cover that floor as well, just in case. This person might have actually came in the bottom floor and then uh, went into the garage. How did I manage six which, points uh, of damage? I wouldn't like you to think that's normal for me. Which uh, it just happened probably to be my best performance of why the day. they were fighting earlier outside. So there's a guy outside. She has a shotgun. I'm actually going to... I'm gonna sit back here for a second. Guy on top of me. So I'm gonna go over the top and just put a lot of pressure on her. There we go. Since we didn't have a close range gun, we had that's kind of our only option. We had to drum jump over the top and just hold down the mini gun. Um, I also could have used C4, but since we we're very close to her, I don't want to risk that. The mini gun is very very good at just like forcefully, forcefully uh, creating a situation where your opponent can't play defense. Because the longer he plays defense, the more materials he'll burn through and the quicker uh, we'll kill him. But when he plays offense, he needs to kill us effectively and very quickly or else what happens is we end up out DPSing him and, and, and he dies. So that's actually what happened. He tried to play aggressive he took us we had a, we had 75 shield and uh 100 health and we went down to like 63 health um what he could have done in my opinion is he could have actually uh played a little more aggressive instead of trying to build you don't want to try to build against the minigun you just got to try to hope to kill your opponent before they kill you um and if you can create distance away from your opponent then that's another good option um using these pyramids by the way on a flat ground to to get those heals off is very important. You could heal in the open, but you risk getting shot at. And if you put, if you build a box, it's a little safer, but you also use up a lot of materials doing that, which I think the pyramid usually is a safe, safe bet. And if you get shot at, you can always, uh, it's very easy just to build a box around the pyramid. You can still build a box while you're in the pyramid. All right. Vehicle pulling up. On the southwest side of the map. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move towards this vehicle right now. Take some shots at it. Fortunately, I missed my pump shot, which cost me my shields, but that's okay. There's still some more chests over here that we can uh, claim. That might have a big shield. I think there's a chest on the other side of this. No, the chest is actually underneath. So let's go underneath. Oh, actually, no, it's on top. But we're going to grab these uh, ammo crates real quick. Yeah, this is a new this is a new spot 
uh, the updated version of this area. I'm not a big fan of it because uh, there's less materials and it just seems kind of crowded and <sighs> I'm not. I'm just not a big fan of it. I, I, I prefer the wood stacks that used to be here, which allowed you to get your mats back up. We have seven minis, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this for five shields. Um, you, I could have popped it with four minis, but you know I wanted to get more value out of them. But since we have seven, you're never really going to go through seven minis. And if you are, then, you know, that sounds like a, like a problem. Like, like it sounds like you're not playing properly. You shouldn't be going through seven like that. Um, okay, we got some guy with a grappler. Got to be careful with grapplers. But I'll show you how to play defensive against a grappler. It's not too bad. When they grapple, what you do is you shoot them once. Then you just, uh, you, you cover up. Unfortunately, we missed our shot there. But he only hit us for like seven, so I'm not... I'm not too worried. It sounds sounds like he's building up. So that's actually a technique I do I use a lot. Is uh okay, we're gonna edit this to break it down. Try to get a good angle on him. It sounds like he's underneath us. Not even sure where he's at. Oh, he's inside. He's inside here. We're gonna He's inside here. I'm going to go ahead and break this wall. He might come out from the door as I break this wall. Or he might come out from up top. I'm, I'm no longer going to break that wall because he's... You can tell that he's... Uh, he's maneuvered in a position where if I break that wall, he's going to be ready. I hear him underneath. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm getting a little impatient. So, I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to get the C4 going. He's running out the front side. He's trying to uh, run away from us right now. So, he's inside and he's probably running upstairs. And I think somebody else is down here. Traps got placed down. So, we got to be careful not to walk into that trap. So, I think he just went... This guy's maneuvering a lot. He's definitely still underneath. And I think the trap got placed on the first floor. Right under here. I think he's building up now. If he's not building up, he's right underneath here. There we go. That took a bit. This guy was playing cat and mouse. He's running away a lot. I'm going to go ahead and take his grappler over the 1C4. The 1C4 uh, is not going to be as efficient as having the grappler. Uh, we'll go ahead and block this off just in case. Better safe than sorry. Um, all right. The only problem right now is we actually don't have a lot of materials because uh, Tilted is no longer a good spot for mats like it used to be uh, because they removed the the wooden pallets from center. Someone just dropped on the floor. It took some fall damage on top of me. So I'm going to go ahead and box up real quick and I'm going to be ready for like an edit play if needed. Looks like actually he has a rocket launcher. He's probably going to shoot a rocket right now. I'm trying to see where he is. Oh, he's right on top of me. Okay. So I'm going to use this and trade, trade spots with him. Uh, put some pressure on him. So right now, I'm not building because I don't have a lot of materials. I'm actually going to let him do most of the building. There we go. So this guy was actually pretty good, and he had a lot more mats than us. And uh, he, he did an edit play... He did an edit play where he dropped down because that ramp was the only thing that was holding him together. And I actually didn't have any traps. If I had traps, he would have died earlier. Um, and I was actually retreating in a way to try to um, move back away from him. Like I was trying to move away from him. Um, 
but he ended up fall falling through my floor and chasing me out. Um, but it, when you're playing in a, in a way like that, when you're playing uh, defensively like that, uh, you you still have to be able to pull out your shotgun and and hit somebody in the face with it because if you play too defensive, you end up dying. And if you play too aggressive, you end up dying. You have to have a good mix of uh, using your shotgun to to get them off of you and go for the kill while also building in a way that protects you. Unfortunately, we're in a very bad spot. Uh, that guy was like camping the whole time waiting to try to get like the last kill on us. Um, and he didn't really have any many mats. Uh, or if he did, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't really have time to look for them to loot them. And we're actually also weak on, on health and the storm is closing. So we are gonna use our grappler. We got four more shots. We're gonna use it to like keep ahead of the uh, of the circle and uh, hope for the best. Uh, right now, our priority is gonna be to get a very fast kill on somebody who's unsuspecting because we only have 106 health. 106 actually, I'm actually happy that we have at least 106 because that means like a blue bolt action sniper won't one shot us in the body. It would have to be a headshot. Uh, but pretty much anything else will one shot us. Um, so the storm though, we can outrun the storm closes, starts closing quicker, but it moves slower as it closes. Like, like there's less time in between the, the storm circles, but you have a better chance about running it. Um, so that's the plan right now. We just got to get inside and try to find somebody who's hopefully looted. And go for a quick kill and the grappler is gonna hopefully help us get that quick kill that we're looking for because without it if somebody builds up on top of us we're not gonna be able to build up higher this person looks like he's bouncing out i'm gonna hope for the best here all right so there you go like i said we just had we have to go for a very very aggressive play uh we we took some good shots at him uh, he has a big shield, which will help us. He has three big shields. So it looks like I got to give up my grappler. Because I think prioritizing the shields right now is going to be important. Considering we're not going to be really topped off on our health. And I'm hoping he had a lot of materials. 700 brick, a launch pad, and a double barrel shotgun, which I'm going to keep. I like the double barrel. Um, it's my favorite shotgun. It's the only shotgun that I'm very confident in when using because I feel like when I uh, when I pull out the double barrel, if, if I land my shots in close range, I can pretty much take down anybody, whether they have 200 shields or not. Um, that's something I really value. The other shotguns, they have their moments. The heavy shotgun, uh, more consistent than the pump and tack. They have their moments, but nothing feels as reliable for me as the double barrel shotgun. So, unfortunately right now, we're, it's looking like we're going to finish this game with like 7 or 8 kills. And we didn't really get a chance to talk about editing, so it's not going to be editing related. Um, this guy's underneath. He's got a double barrel too. So he shot both his double barrel shots and he missed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reload mine. He's probably going to edit out the top. Yep. Going to try to get on top of him real quick. Gonna reload this again. He's probably gonna edit out the top again. There we go. So that this guy was a little bit predictable because he kept like he put a floor up, and I, every time I, I knew he was going to try to edit out the top. Um, and because we knew that, and I even I called it out both times, um, he was he was an easier kill because he wasn't unpredictable. Like we we predicted his movements. Um, and that's what helped us get that kill right there. I, right now, I'm going to chill up here. It's not like, I'm not in, like, in the best spot in terms of, like, mats or health. And this actually can be brought down. But we we have some bouncers. I'm just going to hold that real quick. Uh, the circle is really big for one person remaining. Uh, I'm surprised. Like, we landed tilted. We really didn't get that many kills. Uh, I think this guy's trying to snipe out the structure underneath us. I'm just trying to find out where exactly the snipe came from. Got to be alert here. Oh, I see it. Metal structure. Yep, metal structure southeast. That's where it came from. Um, 
Let's see where the circle goes. I could push this guy. If this guy is good, though, it puts me in a bad spot pushing him. You, you can't really tell these days. Of, like, it, it's harder to tell if somebody's good or not. People people be faking uh, their skill set. People will run default skin and pretend like they're scrubs and then turn up real quick. Um, so uh, I'm just going to wait till the circle closes, see where it's going. And based off of that, I can make a push on him. Um, but let's just see. Because it's still a big circle, all things considered. All right, so it's finishing right in front of us. He's trying to snipe us out. I'm going to go ahead and just go for the bounce pad play with the bouncer. And to do this is pretty simple. You put the bouncer like this. There's a lot of different ways to do this, by the way. And you just walk straight like this through the center. So this guy actually has a pretty good high ground in this area. We only have 500 brick to push this guy. 500 brick. I'm going to pull my bouncer out. Um... Gonna run all the way. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna get as close as I can before being forced to build. Um, so we're right here. Gonna go ahead and go for the knock. So we're we're still we're gonna shoot at him as soon as as soon as he could, like while he's trying to build and do all this fancy stuff. I'm gonna shoot at him. I don't want him to. Uh, I don't want him to knock us down. Because that's his plan right now. He's trying to knock us down. So he hit us once. He has to reload. Obviously right here. Um, I'm going to get close. There you go. Just put, put pressure back on your opponent. It really... It really can't hurt. Looks like he's going for high ground take over here. I mean, it can hurt, but if you're hitting your shots, you should be fine. Now, right here. We only have 140 break. We got to be careful. Just more pressure. Like he, he he's acting all tough and stuff, but this guy is this guy is, he's a he's a one by one warrior. That's what you call him. They rely on the one by one. They feel invincible in the one by one. All you have to do is start building towards them, and when they start trying to knock your structures down, you pop out the side, you take some accurate shots, and uh you shoot them. If I had more materials, I would have been able to just to push this guy straight up, no problem. It would have been as intense. Um those type of players, they rely too much on the one by one. And when they when they face an opponent who knows how to fight that. They struggle and they choke. And of course, they can't do like the regular build fights because they spend too much time just sitting. Um, so, how to win? I'm not sure what the main theme of this video uh, will be, but it was still it was still worth uploading, uh, considering we had low materials, low health, and uh, I guess pushing a player who's camping in a one by one uh, is is an is another thing that we kind of learned in the last few minutes, which I think is very valuable. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this educational commentary. Um, if you like the video, like it and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, if you're watching this right now, we probably already hit a million subscribers on YouTube. So that's amazing. 